Well, hey folks, PC7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Farm Sim 19. And I'm here on the Minbrun map. Or Minibrun, sorry. And I'm about to do something you're not actually supposed to do. I'm gonna use a stabby stabby bale fork uh, to pick up silage bales. So they're pretty much hooped now because they've been pierced, of course. But I'm gonna make right ready use of them as well. Okay, I'm really not used to this thing. It's uh, not got a lot of reach to it. Eh? Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Alright, so now that we do know that... Let's see if we can do a little bit better job here. Everybody's doing well today. I do thank you very much for stopping by. It's very much appreciated. Uh, da, 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 da. I think I got right between them, didn't I? <laughs> ah, shooting ticks. There we go. Uh, that's a little better. Not exactly the roomiest trailer, but I didn't really want that uh, big auto-loading one that we had. I mean, not because it was auto-loading, I'm not going to, you know, that has its uses. It would have been more useful had it actually auto-unloaded as well, but yeah, it seems to be an issue. Anyway, um, no, it was just too darn big. I couldn't even fit it through the farm. The thing's, you know, 100 meters long. It was like trying to drag a train through the farm. So yeah, had to kind of, had to let that one go. Whoa. <laughs> Alrighty then. Let's see if we can set you right in there. Whew. That was a little bit uh, glitchy, wasn't it? Hmm. <laughs> Indeed. All right, well. Actually, I'm going to go this way and avoid the traffic. Because this isn't exactly your... Uh, as you can see. Well, it does have a beacon, though, eh? Ooh, look at that. But, yeah, it's not really, I think, your on-road kind of vehicle. Pretty cool, though, eh? <laughs> ah, it looks like a hoot. Looks like an absolute hoop to drive. Of course, you'd never go in a straight line. You'd always be zipping around. Geez, I look a lot younger than I thought. Yeah. Alright, so... We'll just get you to wait up here while we go grab the rest of the kit. So, do you have, uh, strappies? Ooh, you do, and you got them all. Nice. Very, very, very nice. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do the same with this guy. Just get him right the heck off the road. There we are. Now, 
now we can go s feed our cows some nice plastic wrapped silage. Yummy. Grab our mixer. Well, I guess we're actually using it more like a straw blower here lately. Well, since we bought it. <laughs> no lately about it. Alright. Oh, I didn't undo the straps, did I? So that's not going to really go that well. Oh well. Better uh, late than never. Beautiful. Moo, 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 moo. Lovely, 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 lovely. Huh. That little fan back there, that's actually what drives the whole machine. <laughs> it's got quite the big motor for the size of the day. What a neat piece of kit, man. What a seriously neat piece of kit. <laughs> oh, well. Oh. Man, we're nowhere near high enough. We need to be, like, over our head. Yeah, that's a better view. Uh, right about there, actually. Eye level seems about perfect. Cup. Okay, now... Here's a question. Does this actually lift high enough? And, oh, I think so. Oh, yeah. Look at that, eh? Whoop. Try that. Oh, you rotten little booger, you. You're going to treat me like that, are you? Man. What did I ever do to you? But, well, I'm not going to be so nice to you this time. <laughs> All right, that looks about right. No? There. I'm going to take any chances. We're just going to smack it right into the bottom of the thing. Funny how they all ended up on the far side of the trailer all of a sudden. It's like they're running away. Oh my god, the big pointy thing is coming to get us. Yes. Let's get back in here and get on to the rest of it. Ooh, just barely, eh? Just barely reaches across there. You'd never be able to set them there. I think this will hold exactly four bales. I believe it's 16,000 liters, so... Mm 
We should be able to plug this last guy in. And call her pretty much good. quite what happened there, but hey, things happen. Alright. Actually, I guess I'm done with these, so I think I'm going to actually put it away. It's such a maneuverable thing. There's our, uh, well, I guess it's a telehandler. You can actually use his front loader components, but it's a telehandler. <laughs> Alright, we're done with you as well, but your ride is busy, so. How's that looking? All mixed nice and stuff and things? Yeah? Give you a wee grindy. Yes. Alright, let's, uh, <laughs> Let's feed you to the cows, man. Let's feed you to the cows. Hey, cows. There you go, ladies. Ah, it's coming out the wrong side. We'll give them that for now. And the rest of this I'm going to save. At least for a little bit here. There we go. And I'll pick up some uh, additional bits and bobs and we'll turn what's left there into TMR, I think. Sounds like a plan to me. So... but it doesn't make squawking noises and eat crackers. Alright. So, cowsies, are you feeling a little better about life? Yeah, a little bit, eh? Okay, so... Go back to the bales. The bales. Uh, straw, silage, hay. They're, for, they're all 4,000 no matter what shape, aren't they? Alright. We have sated our cattle long enough. For one episode, I will grab those and get them in place, I think. Um, ah, I suppose it might be worth checking ahead of time whether what I'm about to do is even required. And that is, of course, lime the fields. Oh, yeah. Nope. 
Uh, it doesn't require a line. Neither does that. Nor does this. Interesting. All right, well. They're certainly not ready to fertilize before I seed them, so I guess we're going to uh, continue on then, huh? Yes, indeed. Well, actually, we're halfway home. Let's just go the rest of the way home. Jump back in this guy. He is not very fast, but we don't have very far to go, thankfully. We'll throw those hay bales up. I might have to dump a little bit more of the silage out. Because I'd like to get two complete hay bales in there and get a 50-50 mix or thereabouts. We'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. There we go, there's our bales. So, it's not a fan of doing two bales at once. <laughs> not at all. Look at that top bale sliding. Weird, eh? It's living by its own set of rules, I think. We have little enough to do with physics. <laughs> little enough indeed. That should be just above trailer height. We should be good. Should be good. Woo! Shaky. Ooh. All right. higher because I picked it up a little higher. Alright, on you get. Okay. Done and done. Done and done her. Even. And no, this uh, this this won't hitch up. Actually, I think it has the hitch, but it's nine inches off the ground, and that thing, the hitch is so high, it barely works on the back of the tractors. And I believe those are from the medium tractor class, so it seems to be built more for larger machines. Well, that's fine. Well, that's fine. It's trying to make us feel inadequate. That how that happens. What a race. <laughs> One thing I did notice is kind of weird. The cars actually react way out there on the road to tractors in the field up here. When my guy was coming down the field, he got almost to the edge here, and I noticed the traffic stopped, and I heard car horns honking. And yeah, that's what they were waiting for, even though he was on the other side of a guardrail, on the other side of a hedge, across a grassy boulevard you know what i mean it's like could you have put more things that they could have gone well there's no way he's gonna hit us i don't think so but yeah they're uh you, i suppose they're just stopping to, you know oh look a tractor it's like yeah oh look a tractor 
I usually look, though, when I see one here in town, I'll stop and look at it. Like, well, it won't stop, obviously, if I'm driving, I'm not that daft. Okay, so, kind of come to the uh, conclusion on that one, that we don't need you yet. Let's see if I can get this reasonably well lined up so I don't give it too big a jar before we can hook up the cables. Yeah, that's a little closer right there. Nice. And cable up. Well, I've seen worse. I've seen worse. I guess I didn't need to park that thing, did I? I just needed to bring it back to the farm. Because I'm not exactly done with it. I should be able to reach them all from this side. So, let's de strap. Oh, excellent. Can I do it? Yes. <laughs> Man, if I could do that in real life, I wouldn't have to go see that crazy surgeon dude. All right, here we go. Don't want much, I just want two bales in there, so. Yeah, that be all right. It's going to be a little bit low. There we go. Mm. Yeah, it's such a piercingly nice bale removal there. Whoa. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit chaotic, but, you know. It will survive. Let's get her up nice and high. Alrighty. One down. Well, this is the lower one, so it should be about face level. Should do it. Zoink. Nice. Whoa, dude. Why do you keep pushing the trailer over? You're just going to make a mess. I, oh, I guess these wheels stick out even further, don't they? Oh yeah, that's why. I keep thinking that bumper is my... No, the wheels stick out further than the bumper does. Alright, well, good to know. Good to know. How come it's all piled on one side? That ain't right. There we go. So I think we probably lost a little bit, but as long as it's going to count at all as TMR, I'm pretty good with it, you know? Pretty good with it, indeed. So... Now, we do have pigs and chickens. They're just not around here. Or not chickens, sorry. Pigs and sheep. Well, we don't actually have any. We own a... A, a, a pig pen, and we do own a sheep bar, but we don't uh, have any critters yet. So it's, as I said, we are primarily going to run this as a dairy farm. So, until we can afford to uh, add to that, and I don't mean afford monetarily wise, but I mean have a few things in place, we might have to look the other way for a while. We'll see how it goes. Whoops. Oh, come on, let go of the dang thing, man. Oh, well, don't leave it out there in the wind. Come on. Now leave it. 
And now it won't let go again. Come on. There we go. Hooray. Thank you. Sheesh. Man, it's easier from in here. Much easier. That ah, looks about right. And up. much easier to stay in cab and do these things with this machine because everything sits right in front of your face so nicely. Alright. Well that was easy peasy. <laughs> Need a new front tire for the tractor? I'll have to order one of those. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Now, we are, I guess we're done with that bale trailer for the moment, so, there's a pretty good spot for it over here, actually. I think it'll fit. A little long, but not bad, eh? There we go. Okay. Now, let's get some happy cows on the thing. There we go. Yeah, TMR, 16,000 liters. Perfect. Ah, yes. Oh, does this have a selectable side? Yes, it does. Tip side, right. Excellent. Excellent. Let's do this thing. Okay. Now, of course, it would pay for us to get cheap as early as possible, because as far as I know, they're only going to do the wool thing here in the spring, aren't they? So, I may do that, grab a stack of, uh, stack of grass bales or whatever, and, uh, get some sheep going by next episode. Alright, well, that was good. going on here, man? You're not happy, are you? What's up? Whoa, there's something really weird going on there. Must be something either that tree branch or something in the ground. But it was not happy sitting there. Okay, you happy here? Pretty much, eh? Cool. And there we go. And with that, folks, I think we're going to call her an episode or half an hour in, so fair is fair. There we go. And we're good. We've got our Ursus, we've got our Zetor. And life is wonderful. Let's have a look at our cow state now. Ooh, just grass is all they think they're missing, eh? Alright. Yep, they're already producing poop at a pretty good rate. No milk, of course. We won't see milk, I guess, for a year or two, but there we go. So, that's going to do it, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember, don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. 
and there's all the share and favorite and all that youtube -y stuff that you can do as well. But till next time, and most importantly, take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now.